Man of Steel, 3D, short movie review. With Krypton's days numbered, Jor-El and Lara send their infant Kal-El to Earth. He will be more powerful than humans, even though he looks like us. And when he grows up, as he grows up, he struggles with finding an identity, feeling rootless and different, alone, and ultimately he will have to make a choice between being a Kryptonian and being a human being. And that pretty much covers it for the plot. Despite how negative some critics have received this film, it's it's great. It's it's it really goes in depth with Superman and really yeah goes into that that loneliness of being the last of his kind and as as well as approaching this the story from a more modern and more realistic perspective. This is very much grounded in the real world in spite of the aliens and laser weaponry. How do, how do human beings deal with first contact? How do governments respond when they find out that they are not alone? The, the action is, excuse me, there, there is a bit much of it and it's, excuse me, it's not quite varied enough for there to be so much and several of the action scenes, literally, you could cut them and you wouldn't lose anything. They don't change the, the, the actual situation. And certainly the, the third act is basically a lot of action. With that said, no action scene by itself goes on for too long. You, you care about the action, except for maybe the very last action scene, which really didn't need to be there. And you, you get to breathe between the action scenes. Besides, in between the, the plentiful action in this fast-paced film, the drama is fantastic. The actors all bring it, including the child actors who play Clark Kent at various ages of his life. And the drama between Clark and his parents, both pairs, it's just really gripping. There is a true human element to this movie. Every character is very much human, in fact, in spite of some of them being from Krypton. The film does, should probably not have been converted to 3D. It's post-converted, and honestly, i definitely say to see it, but just, yeah, don't watch it in 3D, really. And yeah, that's it's it. It looks fantastic. It is at times loud, and some elements are a bit. It gets a lot of the the Superman core elements right, and a lot of the Americanism. He's very much an American icon, and it gets a lot of the American values very right. But at times, that also goes slightly overboard, and that that might bother some it, bother me slightly, but yeah, it, it has things in it that you have not seen before in the live-action Superman movie, and it's well worth watching in spite of some flaws. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.